All right, guys. Got a surprise in the mail today that I wanted to share with you. And I think it's fitting because I'm building an off-grid cabin uh, back here. Um, their electricity doesn't come back here. There's no running water. Um, I, I mean, I have battery power. You've seen my little my little battery thing that I use when I come out here for my CPAP machine or uh, to charge my phone or whatnot. And um, just got this in the mail today. It's the Soon Life Emergency Solar Radio. It's one of those hand crank. Uh, radios it also takes batteries it also charges your cell phone it has USB micro USB uh, a flashlight that you can kind of focus in and out um, and then the AM FM NOAA radio you can power this uh, via solar it's got a 2000 mega a H whatever that stands for charger on here um, you can like I said you can crank it with power or it'll take AAA batteries uh, there's also a SOS alarm and if it's sunny out which it's evening right now uh, you can power it via solar um, I have not gotten this out and played with it yet but let's see what all it comes with it comes with the radio itself it has instructions and then it has a USB mini USB cord and then here's the actual unit itself uh, let's like I said I just pulled this out you see here's I, it doesn't have any batteries in it this is where the batteries go three AAA batteries uh, let's give this guy a few cranks see if we can get something I don't know how many times you okay we got a light on on the front so that's all right and I don't know if you can see I'm gonna look at my backpack but you can see how I can focus the light yeah you can kind of see my camera's wanting to do something weird when I focus the light uh, but there's there's a little bit of and you can see it go up and down when I turn that that's sticking all the way up that's back in um, and that's just the push button flashlight right there <clears throat> on the back here you have the USB and micro USB ports uh, which I'm assuming you can charge your phone uh, I should actually try that out so uh, batteries batteries going down we got I'll uh, I'll get this charged up first and then We'll turn that crank some more and get the battery going. I think that light on the front is the battery. I'm just gonna... I have a Samsung phone, so mine is the micro USB. If yours is not, you'll have to use your own charger. I'm just gonna plug this in here. Well, pulled the whole thing off. Okay, I'll put that back on. Plug this guy in. And actually, let's give it some charges. Let's give it some cranks first. How many times do you usually have to crank these things? More than that, obviously, because <laughs> it does not know it's char it's plugged into a power thing. And I'll, I'll read the instructions to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Also, um, this might be this might be an input and not an output. I don't know. This could actually be how you charge this thing. We'll figure that out. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's listen to some, here's where the SOS alarm is. It's pretty loud. 
<laughs> and then, uh, oh, okay, so there's a button. That's why you always read the instructions first, people. There's actually a button on here where you turn it to charge your cell phone. Like I told you guys before, I like to learn the hard way. Yep, it just vibrated and now it's charging. No batteries in here, I just hand cranked it a little bit. And there's a, there's a toggle right back here where you flip it to SOS, standby, or um, charging your cell phone. And then there's uh, another toggle down here where you switch it back and forth between the internal battery and the AAA batteries. And it just stopped charging and started again when I toggled that. So, actually this is turning out to be pretty cool. So we got the SOS. If your, camps, if your campers get spread out or your kids get spread out, turn on the SOS and bring them back to camp. I pulled out this little rubber grommet because I tried to open it incorrectly. And I will seems to be going back in there. You know those how those little flanges do. You just have to kind of keep working them until they go back in. And we're good. It's back in. Okay. What else we got on here? The radio. Let's listen to some radio. Let's let's give it a couple more turns here. This thing's really cool. I've never had one of these. All right, let's see what channel we get out here. Brothers and sister and loads of friends. Those days of desperation and poverty led me to my job today, representing the people, not the powerful. But my job is really not a job because a political ad. Considered it work. In many ways, I'm out in the like woods trying to service. get away now from politics. Age, I get to look back at all <laughs> Turn on all my soon life. Emergency radio. All right, we got to find something else. More of a reward than a risk right now. So the probability, if I looked at it on the field, oh, it's no, it's Friday. The reward is astronomical, but the chances that you're going to find that astronomical risk in a That's FM. And I'm probably not in the best spot. up the channels that are around here. What's WB? That's the emergency, that's the NOAA. WB? It says like WB 162.400 to 162.550. Wideband? Does that stand for wideband? Just scrolling through it to see what's there. There we go. Alright. So here's our... Cookville, Smyrna, Sparta, Tullahoma, all right, so we, we got that uh, weather broadcast, maybe WB stands for weather broadcast, not wideband, weather broadcast, um, and then the AM band, I don't know, what AM stations?
Where'd that go? Alright. So it picks up some channels. Got the weather with the recent tornadoes. And it's tornado season here in Tennessee. So with me in the off-the-grid cabin, with me out in the woods, 35 minutes from my house and my wife and kids you know they worry about me so this could come in handy we got the uh I'll just show you right here this is how i was tuning that here's where it shows the tuner on the front weather broadcast fm am here's the on off and volume let's put it back on something there's the volume and then here's the tuner Icon, WSM FM. Nashville. All right. So it's a pretty good little deal. Um, I don't know how long it lasts. I will uh, leave a link to this product in the description below. You guys let me know if you've ever tried one of these. If you have this one, if you order this one, let me know what you think about it. Do your own review and, and tag me in it. But there we go. The Soon Life Emergency Solar Radio. I promise to read the instructions. instructions. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, when we get the cabin up, this will be a permanent fixture at the cabin. Come on out. We'll see you on the ridge. Um.